Hello everybody. Uh, we are now uh, doing the uh, example of the uh, friction factor plotting using the while loop. So this is the file that we used uh, one or two videos before to uh, plot the friction factor versus the Reynolds number uh, for uh, one um, value of the friction uh, or, or the, um, the surface roughness, which is the epsilon over D. Um, and what we need to do now is to go move from for to while. So it's the same file. I'm going to start with the same file and I will um, uh, use the, the, the file uh, after doing some edits. And this is what we're going to do is to see what kind of edits that we need to do so that the file works uh, with a while loop. Uh, so this will make uh, some differences and this is what we are we are looking at and my goal uh, from from this video is to understand the difference between the two the two and the kind of input that you need to give to MATLAB in both cases so that you tell him what you want to do and he understands it well and does exactly what you need uh, MATLAB to do so um, I'll, I'll first take this file and make a new one, I'll paste everything and I'll save it as um, let's put it in the folder that I put my files in and I will save it as um, friction factor while well. okay so um, the first thing is I'm gonna move this for to while uh, or change it and we said before that the while cannot accept a range um, like what we have here. So what I need to do is to put a condition. So this condition would be, I know it starts from 4,000 up to 10 power 7 or 10 power 8. So I can say that I will make it Reynolds number less than 10 power 8. Okay. Um, so this is the condition that I want to uh, stop at. Uh, but keep in mind that my, uh, before before you start the loop that you uh, or, or you start the run you need to put yourself in MATLAB's shoes so uh, first think about it you you will ask MATLAB to check about for the very first loop uh, for Reynolds number but actually there is no Reynolds number that MATLAB knows before uh, while we were using the for loop we told MATLAB use these values of, for, of, of Reynolds number um, but in this case, you do not have any value of Reynolds number to start with. So you need to put the initial value of Reynolds number before the while loop, which is 4000. So this and this both, both um, do exactly what we uh, wrote before for, uh, using the for loop. Uh, which is Reynolds from uh, 4000 to 10 power 8 with the specific number of points. So this is the first thing uh, is to uh, put an initial value for the um, parameter that you are doing the check on before the loop. Um, and then and now let's see what we have here. So MATLAB will go check about the Reynolds number. It has a value that is less than 10 power 8, so it's going to go for it and then do the friction uh, factor equation, do the solving, and then he's solving the value of Reynolds number for this case. He's increasing the value of I with one. So this all sounds good, but uh, let's see what else we need to do. Um, we need to do something that's very important actually, is to do uh, or, or uh, put a, a command to increase the value of Reynolds number. Let's say you, you kept it like this and then you, you, you ended the first loop the second loop will, will start with the same value of Reynolds number and it's gonna go infinitely. So I can, uh, I need to put anything, um, I will, and say the Reynolds number would be the old Reynolds number multiplied by, let's say, 1.2. Okay. Um, and this, uh, you can make it 1.5. You can, of course, add a value, like add 1,000, 10,000, but this is gonna be uh, very, very time consuming and it will do. Uh, very big number of loops because you are going from 10 power 3 to 10 power 8 so it's five orders of magnitude so 4000 will not be or, or uh, 1000 10000 even will not be uh, a good way to do it so uh, i would i would personally like to multiply it by any value um, 1.1 1.2 whatever and this will be enough to uh, to give you the the uh, proper uh, number of loops that you want 
Um, and then um, once it has a new value of Reynolds number, it's gonna start the loop and then the value increases. I'm now saving the values of, of uh, Reynolds um, number and I'm saving the values of the friction factor. And it should be now good. I have everything about the plotting now, so I can uh, run the file now. So when we run the file, it's now busy. Uh, you cannot see the word busy because it's behind my photo, but now it's it's working. So it it give uh, it give the same thing uh, that we got from the for loop. Uh, one thing you need to keep in mind while looking at this this plot, or or let's let's look at the values that we have here. So first you got 56. Um, it says here it's 56 um, uh, loops. And you cannot tell how many loops you did uh, before or you're, you're, you're going to do before doing the looping. So this is one important thing that in the while loop, you cannot tell how many loops uh, because you do not specify the number of loops that you start with in the beginning. Um, so this is the first thing. The second thing is that when you look at the values of the friction factor, you would notice that um, the very, very last value, which uh, I'm not the, uh, I mean the Reynolds number, I'm sorry. Uh, in the Reynolds plot, you will you will notice that the very last value of Reynolds number is gonna be um, nine multiplied by ten power seven, which is not actually what we said here. I uh, or or what we did in the for loop. In the for loop, I said stop when it is ten power eight. So the last value would be exactly ten power eight. Here it it reached nine multiplied by ten power seven, and then th it multiplied the Reynolds number by one point two, which was the last Reynolds number, which is here which was 1.8 multiplied by 10 per 8, which is larger than this value, so it didn't satisfy the condition and the loop ended. Uh, so this is important to know that you will not go exactly to the last value, it will be little less uh, than the value because you say when it exceeds this value, it stops the loop. So this is, this is good for now, but let's go for the second level of complexity, go for um, more than one line. So I will make another for loop uh, or royal loop around the uh, the uh, this one, and I'll take this um, and move it. Uh, oops, um, move it uh, inside. Inside. Um, of course, you can do a while uh, inside the for loop or for loop inside the while loop. It doesn't matter. But I'm I'm just uh, interested in in the while loop now, so I'm working on the while loop. So I'll say, um, for instance, I will make it for epsilon over d, uh, and I have epsilon over d, I will say it starts with 0.001, and I will say that epsilon over d is smaller than uh, 0.001. Okay, so I have to, well, like one order of magnitude, or equal 0.01, or, or like, let's make it smaller than 0.001. And I want to see what kind of... Uh, input I need to, or change I need to, to do. So I have the value of i now, and I have the Reynolds number. It's going to start with epsilon over d. Um, and with this epsilon over d, you will go for, let's let's keep it like this now, and then we'll go for the while loop. It, it does everything. And I need to um, do what I, I did before. I, I want to save the values as um, columns. So I will make another value uh, variable j, I will make it equals 1, and it will be ij, and Reynolds plot would be the same, and then I increase the value of Reynolds number, everything is okay, and I will, um, um, I need to put something here to increase the value of epsilon over d, so I will say epsilon over d equals the old epsilon over d multiplied by, let's say, 0.2, um, for instance. Um, so you will have around five lines now, um, and then the epsilon over d increases, and then it will start the next loop. And I oh I I need to do the plotting here, um, so I will take this semi-log plot, or let's let's um, disable this, and take it here, semi-log plot. Uh, I will keep the line width, but uh, as we said before, I will remove the line color because my lab will take care of it. Um, and then it will plot the Reynolds plot against F. And we said that we need to hold the plot um, because we, we, we need to, to have all the lines plotted on the same graph. 
So it kind of sounds like good to me now. So I'll, I'll run the file and see. Uh, you'll see that it did only one loop. Um, and this is uh, kind of strange because I asked MATLAB to do um, many loops. Um, the first loop, it was 0 0.002, 0 0.01, then the second loop will be 0 0.002. So at least I have, I should have like three or four lines, but it ended up with only one. And actually this is kind of, um, um, the, the reason for, for this might be because of the Reynolds number. Um, Oh, I, I didn't, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't increase the value of j, so I, sh I should say, say that j equals j plus 1, my bad. So I, I will run the file, uh, and it did only one, uh, one graph, and this is kind of strange, because I should expect, so I'll make it 1.5 for instance, it doesn't matter. Um, so let's say we have here just one column, and have here just one column, so it didn't even start the next loop. I have i as 57, so it, it stopped the first loop. Oh, 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 oh. I'm, I'm sorry. So one other mistake I did before that I should be. So it's, it's good to do the mistakes, actually, because this is what will we'll make we learn. So um, if I change it, it doesn't matter. Uh, but I have here i equals 1. So it means that, so it, it's a good way to track the errors. So uh, when I put i here, it, it started i in the beginning, so it means that it, it started the second loop. I have j equals 7, so it did the 7 loops, actually. Um, and this is very weird. Um, so maybe because I said just plot the f, I need to ask it to plot f all the columns and uh, or the rows and column j. And now, yeah, and now, now this, this, this is what I'm, I'm, I'm doing. So I'll, I'll, I'll go back to what I did. So first, I, I should put i uh, equals one so that it, it doesn't repeat the mistake that we did before to stack all the friction factors for all the epsilon over these in the same column. So I here start a new column. Here I, I increase the value of j. So uh, when I, I did the run before. Um, I, I didn't put the plot uh, f uh, against j, I just said pl plot f uh, as a whole. So um, this is not what I, I, I need. I needed to plot uh, a line each run. But actually what you will see here that um, it, it put uh, j equals 2, it means that it did 2. And, and this is very important to, to notice these outputs because uh, last time I saw that j was 7, which means that it ended or, or did all the, the, the uh, loops that it, it was doing. Um, and and uh, that's why I didn't show any errors. But the problem was that I, I didn't have uh, any problem with plotting f uh, this way. But here I have now j equals 2, which means that it did one loop. And in the second loop, it started, but it couldn't end it. And there is a problem with the, with the plotting. And the reason actually is that because you have the Reynolds number here uh, as 4,000. So once this, this uh, thing is, is done, it will go here with the Reynolds number that is greater than the temperate. So I didn't reset the value of, of Reynolds. It's exactly like what I did in the eye. So I didn't reset the value of Reynolds number, and this is why this loop didn't work, because the condition is not satisfied. And it, I'm asking now MATLAB to plot f, the second column of f, and, 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 and there is no second column of f because the loop didn't work. So this will all be done once I have um, this uh, line here. And when I do the run, I'll have all the lines here. So it is very important, it's extremely important to notice where the inputs are and is this the right place to put the input or not. You saw it, 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 it didn't plot anything because just the Reynolds number was before the while loop, not after the while loop. You'll notice also that for the while loop I have the same, uh, the same issue, is that I cannot control exactly the values of Reynolds number or the epsilon over these, especially if I want to have values that are, are not uh, uh, equally spaced. Uh, so, so I here have to have the values uh, with which are, are uh, multiplied by 1.5. So I, I, I cannot actually tell what are the values of the epsilon over d. I can, I can say uh, what I said before, I will make um, uh, uh, epsilon over d plot 
equals uh, epsilon over d or I'll make it j and 1 equals epsilon over d for instance and when I do the run I will find the epsilon over d plot here and these are the values of epsilon over d that I had and you'll notice that again let's let's see um, 1 2 3 4 5 6 so I have 6 um, lines here um, and this is exactly the same number of epsilon over d that I did so you will see that these values um, are are kind of weird values because I'm, I'm multiplying it by by factors so I okay, this is 7.5938 multiplied by 10 power minus 4 which is which is not what I, I usually look at so um, uh, this why sometimes the for loop is very important you can you can do something of course about it you can but but this is gonna be very very painful to put uh, an if conditional here that tells my lab that if the realness number is uh, or the epsilon over d is with this value go for the next value which is whatever the value that you want to to go next but, but this is going to be very very painful you will take like 10 or, or 15 lines here just to put uh, some if conditions and it's going to add one more level of complexity that's why in 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 the case of for loop it was very very easy and it doesn't require all that effort um again this is this doesn't mean that while loop is a bad loop it it depends on what you are looking for and what you want to do um, but the point that I want to make clear in this video is that you need to be very cautious while working with the loops uh, because you need to exactly understand what MATLAB is going to do and what you want it to do uh, or, or tell it how to do it the way you want it to do it. Um, so this is uh, extremely important. Uh, we will have another tutorial about the loops um, for uh, drawing the phase diagrams um, and uh, I'm going to do it for while and for loops in the next week, inshallah. So I'll see you then. Goodbye.